Hi, this is the 5-Minute Bible Talk with Reverend Kathy. You know, every morning I wake up, I look at the current news cycle to see what's going on. And there's so much there that hooks me and grabs onto me. The coronavirus pandemic, the racial injustice, the political mashups that are going on, and in the greater world, destruction, disease, locusts, floods, fires, all of that. And it's very easy to get pulled down by that. To, to get a sense of hopelessness or discouragement, thinking we're never going to get to the other side. That there's no getting better. But today's story from the chapter, um, from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, 22, 33, is about Jesus walking on the water and Peter's attempt. I think it has a lot to say to us today. And the story goes, it comes right after feeding the 5,000, and Jesus immediately sent the disciples um, got him into the boat, said, I'll meet you on the other side. He dismissed the crowds, and by that time it was the evening, so he went to the mountain to pray. And in the early morning, he takes out after the disciples. Now, the water is being ruffled because it says in the Bible, the wind was against them. And so it's a little stormy, really rough waters. But the disciples see Jesus walking towards them across the water. And they were afraid and said, it is a ghost. And Jesus said, hey, guys, it's just me. Don't be afraid. And Peter says, Lord, if you will, if it is you, then command me to come to you. And Jesus said, come. And Peter steps out of the boat and he starts walking on the water towards Jesus until the wind catches his attention and the ruffled waves, and he begins to sink into the sea. And Jesus immediately held out his hand, pulled it up, and said, Oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? And together they walk towards the boat, the wind ceases, and they finish their trip. So what does that have to say to us? We're looking at the meaning of the words, the revealing word by Charles Fermo. We'll see that Jesus represents that Christ identity, our spiritual I am within us. And Peter's that faculty of mind that represents faith. Different stages of faith development, faith nevertheless. And water, water is that mental potentiality. And a large body water, water represents that sea of thoughts, um, unformed, unexpressed, waiting to be given a container to take shape. And so Peter, our, our faculty of faith, looks out unto um, the ruffled waters, the tensions, the things that are going on in the world. And we wish to arrive to that divine identity of ours where we can stay on top of it. And so we get out of the boat, that present state of consciousness that keeps us afloat from sinking. And we go out and we begin to walk across the water. But the wind and the ruffled waves gather our attention and we begin to sink into the sea of thoughts through fear. And fear is that container then that gives shapes, shape to that unformed thoughts and presents us with fear and negativity, and we cry out, Lord, save me. And the divine immediately reaches out and lifts us up to that awareness of wholeness and of, of life and, and the, the understanding that each one of us is the light of the world, the truth of our being. And it gently chides us and says, oh dear, you know, why did you doubt? This is part of who you are. Let me walk you to the boat. And our divine self walks us to the boat. The wind ceases to affect us. And we sail and go to our destination. We get to the other side. I think that has a strong message for us today in our daily living. To not sink into that sea of thoughts. To not give that unformed energy a container of fear and negativity but to stay on top, to constantly be aligned with that divine of within us. As Pete Seeger said, a set. Pete Seeger in his song said, keep your eyes on the prize, hold on. So if you'd like to join us tonight, August 7th at 7 p.m. on Zoom, we are having an open discussion time to see what more insights we can gain from the story. If you'd like to be a part of that, go to our webpage at unityofmesa.org, click on the Classes tab and register for the five-minute Bible class discussion. Hope to see you there. Blessings. Hold on.